Hi guys, fan cams. We've got Dave next on. A few of you have been asking for Dave on. We've got obviously football back now, so Dave's here. Dave, um, Barnes and Hill Luton won. I've just finished with Craig. That were awful, that one. It that were really awful. For, I know it's only the first game, but that were bad. That I thought you meant the interview with Craig then. <laughs> you are? I thought you meant the interview with Craig. Oh no, no, <laughs> the performance, mate. <laughs> Jesus, no. Uh, absolutely dreadful. Absolutely yeah. dreadful. I mean, what? There were just nothing, were there? There, were, there didn't seem to be no game plan, no idea. Help yeah. me out. It was it was the same as pre lockdown last season for me. Yeah, it was the same as the first half against Forest last week. We were just huffing and puffing, and we weren't getting anywhere. And I think it's a game best written off and best written off soon. Mm. Uh, I mean, is it is it for you? I know it's only first game, but is it a clear indicator that there's recruitment needs still needed? There is recruitment needed. We look very lightweight up front. Um, Everything in the last third of the pitch was just, it was non-existent. There was, there was no attacks, there was no um, attack force, there was uh, no threat in the box. There was no decent balls really into the box bar yeah. a few. It was, it just, it, the defence looks the same as what we did last season. And I've got no, no problem with that, but mm. the creativity in midfield and you know, obviously the final ball and... No, we, it, it needs to change and we, we definitely need another striker. And mm. Luke's been banging on about this new striker and we, we definitely need one. Mm. We, just didn't, we just didn't look like scoring today. No, we Not didn't. Not at all. We didn't Not look at all. like scoring. I mean, even, I'd even go as far as uh, somebody who can actually create. Like you said, the midfield, I think that's been completely bypassed in this one. So somebody who can hold that midfield together because Moa, I mean, he's... He's all right. He's, he's decent at it. But like somebody on the other end of it to, to create stuff because Moa... As much as like you know, sometimes it, sometimes it does work, but it's it's like a four out of t four four out of ten. Do you know what I mean? All the time. Palmer came on. I thought it moment pushed a little bit further forward, and he, mm. he was more effective, much more effective, in fact, mm. uh, when he, when he did that. And uh, I'd like to see him play a bit further forward, but you know, um, as I say, the rest of the midfield it was pretty much non-existent. Mm. Ritz fire. He was. I just. <laughs> I don't know what to say about him anymore. I really don't. He mm. was—he didn't do a thing all game. He had a few touches, nothing. He didn't create anything really. He, you know, we didn't make any errors, but that's because he was hardly in the game. Yeah, Samoas, yeah, had a few runs. Same as Styles, but I think the, just lack of control. And they were trying to get on these jinking little runs, and just seem to be headed down a one-way street the wrong way to me. Yeah, yeah. I know. We never looked like scoring. I mean, the big chance we had were freezers, wasn't it? I mean, I mean, good God, I mean, that you shouldn't miss that, should you? Not at this level. You, should, you shouldn't, but obviously, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a get-out-of-jail-free card on this one because it's his, it's his first championship appearance. If you think back to Saul Bauer when he first came along in his first few games for us, he, he just wasn't up with the pace of the game. Mm. And it's something you've got to adapt to. So it was a it was a bad miss, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let him off with this one because it's you know it's a few minutes into his his, his championship debut and yeah. but at the end of the day we should have, we should be having a striker on the end of that anyway. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Woodrow should be on the end of that. Mm. There was someone you know someone who can put it in the back of the net. Woodrow, Woodrow's so job it is to score. Yeah, Woodrow's never seems to be in right place at right time, does he? He's not, he's not had a bad game, Woodrow. To be honest, to him, he's been. All over the park, and he's, he's he's made some good runs. He's put some decent balls about, but I, I want to see him up top. Yeah, and I, th I thought he was going to start up top at the start of the game. He did seem to be up top, and then just drifts further and further deeper. And he's, I won't say ineffective because he he gets it, he gets in and he wins the ball and he puts the ball about. But yeah, it's not his job to do that. You know, he, in midfield should be doing that, not Woodrow. Mm. He's been doing that, getting the ball, winning the ball, passing up field, getting it through to Woodrow, up at the back of the net, but. You ain't gonna score when you're that far out and mm. playing that deep. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it doesn't work. We, we saw this last season, you know, it, it didn't work and you had that massive drought. And mm. if they're gonna play him deep again, it's, it's just gonna continue. Mm. I mean, busy week in terms of Tuesday's game at Middlesbrough, then Saturday again away at Reading. I mean, it, for you, as have them players got to come in? Who we mentioned a strike has got to come in this week. Has it got to be this week? I think they, we, we need one. We definitely need one. Um, 
Chaplin's not had the best of games today, but mm. you know he's only uh, he's, he's not the tallest of lads, is he? And Luton are pretty big at the back. It's um, it was always a big ask for him today, and we play it, the ball in the air too much for someone mm. like Chaplin. Well, that was what got me. Area. It's like, why on earth are we pumping ball up to him? Play on the deck. They yeah. need to keep football and play football on the deck. We play it through the air all the time. And we've got no one to aim for. We mm. haven't got Woodrow because he's playing deep. And Chaplin, you know, he's he's not going to get up and win balls. So yeah. Yeah, we do need to get a striker in. We need to get a striker in that's going to actually play up front. Mm. I know there's been uh, talk about this lad from Celtic, but I mean, I've not heard anything for the last couple of days. So I don't know if that's stalled or what, what's going on there. But... We definitely need something. We definitely need something quick. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, to, great. it's you know, great to see off like we did last season and get like behind again. We need to be you know, stabilising ourselves from the start. Yeah, it, yeah, it's clear. It's clear to see. I know, and I know, I don't want to write us off first game, but you know, it, it was clear to see that we didn't seem to have that cutting edge. Even like you said last week against Forest, it was sort of a similar performance. I thought we were probably a little bit better in that. We kept all that ball a lot better. But today, Luton, I think definitely of it, two halves deserved. If any side were going to win it, they, they were the one that looked more sharper, more clinical. Uh, it's a wonderful finish for their goal, by the way, as well. Yeah, um, we did take that well. So, but we just we, we we never don't do opening days, though, do we? We don't win on opening days, generally. No, not often. I think we won't last two, but previous to that, it's been like 10, God, 10 years or something like that. Yeah. So, hopefully, it's just a little yeah, blip. Last, last year. Well, we won against Fulham last year and look what happened. Yeah. You know, if we, if we lose today, we lost today, and if we finish fourth from top as opposed to fourth from bottom last season, <laughs> yeah, I'll be happy. But, you know. <laughs> Do you think we will? <laughs> Luke already said season, it in yeah. live stream. Luke said it in live stream. We have fans predicted playoffs. God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure where that's come from, but I was definitely hoping for a, you know, 13th, 14th finish this season. But mm. it's early days and anything can happen. Yeah. You know, I right off today is a bad day at the office and we, we go again next Saturday against against Reading, which is not gonna be an easy No, they won two nil at Derby as well, which yeah, is a cracking yeah, away yeah. day win. Uh so all right then mate, well I'll let you crack on and I'll uh, probably speak to you in week before um Middlesbrough on Tuesday. All right. So right to yours, mate, thanks for coming on. All right, cheers, buddy. Thanks for having us. All right, Dave, see you in a bit. Ta-ra, mate. Ta-ra.